Uh, today I'm going to show you a demo which I'm going to make a series of e-commerce website using Laravel as a backend. For the frontend, I will use Vue.js with Tailwind CSS and uh, and, uh, and the Inertial JS to to manage the prompt data instead of using Vuex state management frame, uh, management package. So. Um, so I will go to show you the demo. This is the home page. We, we, we were going uh, we will see a list of product with the limit of eight items here. If you wish to view all the product, uh, you can view all the products. If it, there is no image, no image available is here. I already validate for this. Um, if it, you want to um, filter, but this brand and category are not related with this product, but it is the um, example data so you can um, edit the brand data and category data. These are the dynamic, it's not a stat static data, so no problem. So if I click on the Nike, so all the brand related to this brand of the purse where we list here. So if I click uh, on a man, so all the category of the man where we list, okay? So uh, for the Zara brand, main category is not exist so there will be no product found if it i and check to the main so the zara only have a kids category for the woman yeah so it's a one kids it's a three so like this for for the um, uh, price filter if i click on um, from zero to twelve dollar it will be list like this and if it i show uh, sort from lowest to the highest so it will be yeah so short uh, from lower to the highest highest to the lowest so like this so here we have one item in the in the in the cart so if i remove it will redirect back because it's zero to the home page if i add for example okay 12 dollar i add uh, one product two products if i add uh, the same products it will be add to the cart and but here is only increase the quantity of that same products if i reduce uh, if i if i add more quantity it will be add to the total amount if i reduce it change it change here so um so i will go back and i will add one more item okay okay here so you will see it as soon as i press it uh it it's update here so I will go and check out before I check out uh, if if I don't have a shipping address I need to fill here but I have only uh, I have one shipping address so I don't need to fill I can go and check out if you didn't know I went I, I, I want to uh, add new address which I'm going to be shipped this item this item so I can add and submit now I'm going to check out um, check out before I check out, let me let me show you here. I have total say seven, so um, for uh, weekly sales, okay, Sun Sunday. So I'm um, I I have got a lot of say on Sunday. So check out, and then it's go to the with the Stripe payment, okay. So um, I ask the tax email and tax cards uh, as a Visa card, then. And then, okay, cool. Um, I can choose wherever. Okay. And I, ah, okay. So damn. So it will be redirect to here. So order is order number is eleven and paint. Uh, I have already paint. So category and all the products I've ordered in this. So um, let me check here. I will refresh it. So it's eight to the say on this day, okay? So one user to the incomes and to the product counts. So this is the minimum dashboard dashboard that we must have. Uh, if if you if you wish if you have more business logic and idea, you can add more like transition, the later transition or the later products, or you can show the list. But I show you the the the, the necessary function of the e-commerce website okay this is a dashboard this is the products so in this products 
um, if I delete here, um, this product will be delete. So if I add one new product, one more new products, okay? So like example, quantity will be like 10 for this product. So woman and editors, uh, description, example, of the product okay so for the image i can upload multiple image i have uh three image here and after i open yeah it's like this so if it i don't like i can delete and i save it so product has been created with the sweat alerts here oh yeah it's a sweat alert here and you can see one more new product here. So if we go back to our dash uh, user homepage, you will see one more new product here. So uh, it's been listed the latest products. And so I will delete it. And so it's uh, asked me to delete. So it's soft delete. It doesn't delete um, from the database totally. It can back up because we use soft delete. I use soft delete in here. So if it is, I'm publish, so so you see, so it happens to that and it's pu and publish. So the products will not be list. If it is, and and click again, it's publish again. So it's install, auto store. We can know the state visible action and everything for this. Okay, so um, that's it pretty much. So we can we can do e-commerce website. Siri using Laravel as a backend, Vue.js, Tailwind CSS, and for the stage prompt data management, you will use Inertia. So yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, one more thing. Uh, if if I don't um, if if I'm if I'm logged out, uh, if I'm browse the item as a guest, I can't add to the cart. I can add edit or update to the cart but when I check out I can't I need to open an account or register account then I can check out so this function will be also included thanks a lot